Hello everyone, today I will show you the new node-based Python scripting editor. So let's go to the view of a node editor and inside this script editor we have Python node. So if we create it, we already see there is a lot of modules that's been imported. So let's play around with it. So if we print something, we can see that in console. We can change the size of the text editor or the console. So some of the external modules are also included, like NumPy, OpenCV, or PySide. So we can print something like NumPy arrange 50. Nice. Okay. So we have a lot of core modules imported here. So some image modules, UV modules, image UV modules, math modules, mesh modules, and so on. So let's play around with this. So we create, let's create image. So from the image generate, we can create something like um, gradient palette free. So if we run it, it's been created, but nothing's been shown. So we can show it using um, show image. And if we run it, error cured. We don't have show image. Let's see. Oh, we just have show. Sorry. Okay, so now we can see this image. Let's increase its size. Height to 550, width 550. Nice. So basically what's happening here, we are calling this um, function from this PH image generate module. It's exactly the same as the from the image generator gradient palette free. It looks a bit different, that's because we use sRGB code space, but if I turn it off, it looks exactly the same. So we can play around here with seed, let's say we can play with rotation. We can also rotate our image, let's say rot is 55. Cool, so if you are not sure of what are the name of these attributes, uh, this executable comes with a configuration JSON file which we can show here. So this is a massive JSON file in which everything is set up. So if you search here from the gradient, we can see these are its attributes, its names in the modes. So basically when you run application, this configuration JSON will be loaded. So you can basically change anything before you run the application. But we can see we can edit border, rotation, U and V position, and so on. We can also change minimum and maximum values before we actually run this application. Okay, so we can uh, implement some modifiers to this image. So let's do it. Let's do it in code. So let's use image modify. And let's say we want to invert this image. So this would be it. Then if you execute, now this image is inverted. We can also apply some other modifiers, like um, let's say normal map. If we run it, now we get the normal map. Also, this is another window, so we can expose it as a socket. So that's done by using naming conventions. So in this case, we just have to create image out and name it image. So if you do it and execute it, okay, we just want to still show it here. So now you see we have exposed our uh, image R, G, and B. So now we can just use image modifier and let's say we just copy this image to see what's happened. So we get this normal map. After that, we can apply some other modifiers, whatever it is, pencil sketch, I don't really know. But basically, now it's exposed like we just created this image in the image generate node. Okay, so that would be it. Yeah, small introduction for the image core modules. We can also create some meshes. Let's say we want to create a plane plane comes from the this module and then we have to create this object we have to give it some name let's say test plane 
After that, we actually have to create this plane. And if you run it, nothing's happened. But now we can actually print some stuff from this plane. So let's say get the vertex position. If we print it, now we got these four vertices. We can edit this plane. So let's say we change the subdivisions of its plane. So let's say subdivision by x axis is 10, subdivision is 5 by y. If we run it, now we get much more vertices. Uh, we can um, print its normals since this plane is procedurally generated. Get its normals here. Oh, obviously, it's the same, but we can apply some modifiers to it, then this will change. We can print its UVs. Right, and these are the UVs for this plane. Yeah. Well, this is kind of a small introductory video about these core modules. There has to be a lot more videos to explain all of this, but I think that this would be enough for today. So thank you guys very much for watching and see you next time.